In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a custom tab to your WooCommerce single product page, for example, delivery information tab. And I'm going to show you how to add a custom field, for example, delivery days under the shipping tab here. And I'm going to show you how to output this information inside this custom tab. It works in a way that if I add a 14 here, then it displays estimated delivery time 14 days. If no information has been added, then it displays standard shipping three to five days. In a similar way, you can display whatever information you would like inside this custom tab. It's a fairly simple hack and setting it up takes only a couple of minutes. So let's dive in. First, now a couple of things I need to point out. First, all the snippets I'm going to show you today, take a look at the description of this video. There is a link to the blog post that contains all the code. And second one, you can add all those snippets into your child teams functions PHP file, or you can go to the plugins, add new, search for code snippets, this one here, install and activate it. This one allows you to add all the codes to the site and you don't have to worry whether the snippets are active in case you change your teams. So code snippet is a, another option, but there is also a third option and this one is WP Codebox. This is my favorite code snippet manager. This one is a premium plugin, but it allows me to save my snippets to the cloud. I can choose what kind of snippet I add here. I can choose the condition. For example, if I add the snippet, I can add the condition to show it only for specific product categories. For example, if I add a snippet, this one works only on accessories, product category pages. Previously, I have made a thorough review video about the WP code box. The link to this video is in the description of this video. One more thing, as I said, it's a premium plugin, but if you take a look at the description of this video, there is a nice 20% discount coupon for you. In this video, I'm going to use code snippets plugin. So I installed it and activated it. Now I'm going to go to the snippets and add new. Now give it the title, for example, custom tab and custom field. Now I'm going to give you some snippet and I'm going to explain what is what. First, as you see, I added comments everywhere for you. The first snippet will create a custom tab. This one here, change the information, delivery information. This one here. Next, there is a priority. Where would you like to display it? But since I need to display it as a last tab, I set the priority to 50. This snippet here creates a custom field, which is displayed under the shipping tab on the product editing page that is here, shipping. If you would like to display it under a general tab, then add the general here, but I'm going to leave it as it is right now. Next one is delivery days label this one here and as you see there is also a tooltip this is a message inside the tooltip now there is a next snippet this one here this just saves the values from the custom field in the database and now the last part let's display the values inside the custom tab there is a heading delivery information this one here if you don't need it then just remove it this part displays the values from the field. This is a prefix, estimated delivery time and suffix days. And if I haven't added any information, then standard shipping three to five days is displayed. Change those accordingly. I also added a class here. Later, I'm going to add a CSS in order to make it display like this. Nothing else to configure here. Choose run snippet everywhere. Now scroll down and click on save changes and activate. Next, let's go to the product page. Let's open up a product, for example, this one here. Scroll down, open up the shipping tab, this one here. Let's add some value, delivery days 21. Let's update it, view the product. There's a tab I added and there is a delivery time. Now let's test if I delete the value here let's update refresh and as you see there is a standard shipping three to five days and once again if you need to change this information then add it here or add just no shipping information available whatever it is 
as you see, I need to add some styling here. So I'm going to go to the customizer, open up additional CSS. I scroll down, open up the delivery information. I already created a CSS for it. It's also in the video description inside the blog post, which contains the snippets. Couple of pointers, background image. I uploaded it here. Library truck, this one here, just copy the URL, paste it here. You don't need the domain name. Works also with a shortened version of it. Just add your own values here. For example, if you need it to be bigger or higher, then just tweak those here. If it's done, then publish, visit the page, and done. This is only one of the cool hacks I have for the WooCommerce single product page. I have also created a, a separate video about 14 useful single product page hacks. If you're interested, then this video is on the screen right now. So be sure to take a look at it. In the meantime, take care.